In this week's video, you could see potentially the end of one of our garden favourite plants. That is the bamboo, Phyllostachys bambazoides castellanus. So let's take a closer look at this bamboo. It's a phyllostachys, so it does spread a bit. And it's got these beautiful green leaves with some variegation, often shown on the newer leaves when they unfurl in summer and then dies away. If you look over here, you can see a bit of that variegation showing through. And then the, the culms themselves are very bright, strong, yellow colour, very nice addition to the garden. But what's happening to this bamboo is something that happens very rarely and that is it started to flower. So if we're looking carefully we can see it's flowering here and it's a member it's related to the grasses and it's a grass style flower and you can see it's not just every so often across the plant but it's actually it's everywhere so on this one here you can see that's developed that flowers there it's right through the plant here all this comb is flowering right at the back of the plant we've got flowers there flowers closer here as well so this whole plant is flowering. If we just take a look, these are the seeds here, or inside of the seeds of the bamboo. So what this means is this bamboo is very likely to die because it uses so much energy to flower and it produces all the culms that just end up flowering, then it, it doesn't produce fresh culms, just leaves to grow, then it will die off within a year or so. Sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. But this bamboo started flowering obviously last year in 2017, and I've only really noticed at the start of 2018 that it's flowering across the full plant. Now what's caused it to flower is probably just a genetic genetic thing whereby this species of bamboo is flowering here and more likely it'll also be flowering pretty much everywhere else in the world of this species because they're very closely timed to flower at the same time on each species often because they're cloned or they've been divided and it's pretty much the same plant that's grown across across the cultivated world so we could see this plant dying off in my garden over the next year or so but also in other people's gardens and around the world it could see this plant dying but then there are things we can do to help prevent it dying we can lift it, divide it, cut down all the culms that are flowering and hopefully that will keep some material that can grow on to help the plants in the future or that be very weakened for quite a long time. We could just cut out all the combs here that are flowering, but that's pretty much everything, so I might have to cut the whole thing down to the base and see what comes up, but the next combs that come up could be flowering stems again. And the other thing we can do is actually collect the seeds once it's finished flowering and sow these and watch them grow. But then it'll take many, many years for it to grow into a plant even this size, which is still an immature plant really, because eventually this should grow thicker golden 
combs than it has now. It, these are only about a centimetre, two centimetres at best. They should get to three or four or five centimetres across, I believe, on this species. So it is a shame that it is flowering. I won't be collecting the seeds, because like I said, it's a very long process. But I want, I want to do is see if anybody else's bamboo of this species is flowering. So if you've got this bamboo in your garden, or you know about it in your neighbourhood, and you've seen it flowering, I'd love to know. So you can leave a comment on my YouTube video, on my Facebook page, Yorkshire Chris, and we can sort of see where this is flowering around the world. Doing a little bit of research, and this bamboo has flowered in the, I think it's the early to mid 90s in America, and has regenerated from then. But it could be the case that it's just my specific specimen in my garden that's flowering, and it's not a worldwide event like in a lot of times when bamboos flower. It could just be this one. Less likely for that to be the case, but it could be. Because I did notice over the last couple of years, at the base there was tunnels around the base, probably caused by rats digging tunnels, and that damaged a lot of the roots, and I did have to dig up half, well cut down half this bamboo last, uh, last year or the year before because of all the damage caused to the roots. And maybe because of that it started to flower as a reaction to being damaged so much by the, by the rats. But whatever the case is, it's not looking good for this bamboo. Like I said, I'll cut down it, all the flowering culms and see what we're left with and see if this year's emerging shoots Will be flowering culms or will there be nice vegetative tall green culms? We'll find out. So that is unfortunately the demise probably of this bamboo, but it gives me the opportunity if it doesn't work out to grow another plant in this area of the garden. So anyway, look at your bamboos, look for flowering. I've shown on this video what the flowers look like and the form they take. And then please leave comments below if you see this Bambazoides castellanis bamboo flowering. Thanks for watching.